What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be changing a G37 starter. Apparently nobody has ever done a video on G37 starters, so here's being the first. So we're gonna go ahead and just, we're just gonna jump into it. All right, okay. So the starter is located underneath this guy, um, which I don't think you can remove. Not entirely sure about that, but the first step that we're gonna take is removing the undershield, which if you have the plastic one, you're gonna remove all of it. And even if you have the metal one like I do, you still gotta remove all of it. So 10 millimeter uh, bolts all the way around. And then obviously here I've already started just trying to get ahead. And so I'm gonna take this off and see what the next step is. So from this point, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect the negative battery terminal. Uh, just because you're dealing with a starter, it's an electrical component, and so there's no sense in, yeah, you know, harming yourself or anything like that. Uh, make sure that whenever you disconnect your negative terminal, obviously it's gonna reset any sort of like savings you have as far as like maintenance. So if you programmed the computer to let you know, hey, in 6,000 miles, I need to change my oil or something, you are gonna wanna write down where you are currently at. So that way you can add it uh, later. So just a friendly tip. So that way you don't go diving head first into this. And all of a sudden you're like, I don't remember where I was at. Oh, no. So, sure, yeah, I'm speaking from experience, <sighs> sad times. Anyway, I will let you know what the next step is. Next, I kinda wanna show where it was in reference to the car. So front bumper, we're gonna go under, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket, and it's gonna be for two bolts, and I'll try to show you where those are. So as you come under, pan that's hot and the starter is gonna be right uh, there right there so you got the sway bar as you come under sorry for people who get motion sickness um, we are now, the front is this way, the rear is that way, and everything's going to be right under here. So I'm going to get set up in a better position to show y'all where the bolts are. Okay, so right here are the bolts um, for the starter. You're going to want to disconnect, oh man, this is hard to do with one hand. You're gonna wanna disconnect this plug. This goes to the starter. So you'll just push down. Also, this is extremely hot and I do not have gloves. So you'll just push down. Ow, frick. I'll have to put the camera down. You'll disconnect this and it'll be this plug or this bolt that is holding this thing on and it'll be this bolt. Um, those are the only bolts, they're 14 millimeter. You just take this off, take this off, and then you will pull the starter, which is right behind this. Okay, so the angle is terrible, but essentially in here, right there, that's where the starter comes from. That's a hole. And once when you get those bolts undone, you have to try to finagle it all through that. And you'll end up coming out right about here. So this is the oil pan. It'll, it will, you have to really maneuver it. It'll come out right here. But what you have to do is you have to disconnect this, which is like 
I don't know what lines these are, but it kind of lets you be a little bit flexible with those. Um, and you will also have to remove your sway bar um, from right here. Um, so, kind of annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. It's your only access to in here is through here, through above uh, the wheel well, and then obviously where you initially get the bolts from back here. Uh, I try to get a little bit better angle, but it's it's difficult. So I'll show you on the actual alternator um, kind of the process. So right here is the starter. Um, so if the front bumper is over here and the rear of the car is that way, obviously where your engine and your transmission meet, that's where this starter is. And what you have to do, it'll sit just like this. So there's a bolt up top and then another bolt closer down here uh, inside. So it'll be those two bolts, just like I showed you earlier. This is that wire I was saying to disconnect. All you do is push down right here, pull it out, you're good to go. The last wire, and I found disconnecting the two bolts and pulling the starter back uh, a little bit gave me a little bit more access to this point right here which is where the wire I think from the alternator goes onto the starter and so this is a 12 millimeter socket or nut you'll need a 12 millimeter socket these you'll need a 14 millimeter socket for both of those and then once when all that's uh, disassembled you'll pull this whole thing out um, and kind of go from there so this one is pretty toast. Um, I, yeah, I mean, it just, it is what it is. But we've got a little packy package from the homies at Z1 Motorsports. So here is that. Um, I'm not sponsored by Z1. But uh, shout out to Spencer. He came in clutch. And uh, honestly, they had the, this was the cheapest one I could find um, was ordering from them. Every auto, auto part place wanted about $430, $420 for this starter. And they weren't even like OEM starters this is a nissan oem on the website it says refurbished if this is refurbished this is freaking immaculate like this looks like it's just a brand new starter so i mean huge huge moves like really impressed with the quality um yeah so overall Basically, we're gonna try to put it back into the death pit under there and, uh, you know, go from there. It, installing it's just a reverse of removing it. Um, hopefully it'll go in easier than, than it did coming out just because you'll kind of know the pattern at that point. And yeah, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this installed and We'll, we'll kind of go from there. All right, guys, as you can see, it's now nighttime. A lot of time has passed, and that's just the way the game goes, but the alternator is in. All you gotta do is reconnect the negative battery, and you are good to go. At this point, I'm tired, I'm dirty, I'm gonna shower, it's gonna be great. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're looking forward to seeing some more future content by yours truly, feel free to smash the subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!